Hey Backwoodsaholics, we're here opening up our new cabinet incubator that we bought and new to us. Um, it's our first hatch with it, so we're going to see how we did. Smells burnt. Three, four. Oh, there's a bunch of them in there. Nine. All right, here we go. We got the first batch of 20 going into our tower brooder here. Bingo, guy. These are guys we already hatched out this year. Oh. Look at that beautiful little lavender. So oh. we should have some barnyard mix, Blue some rice. lavender orpingtons. You guys gotta Blue move lace. out of the way. Come on, guys. Glass is a little dirty, but. guys are a little bigger. You got a pheasant mixed in there. The brooder's pretty cool. It's got built-in feeders and waters. We'll do another video on that another time. should do we should actually we're gonna have so many we should separate the specialty breeds right now you know what I'm saying we'll start a specialty breed pen in there right now and then Good thing we got this brooder. No kidding. It's going to be nice and full. We're putting all of our rare specialty breeds Hi, down at the Hi. bottom here. Hi. Are we friends now? Can I get in there? Need to get them guys some food and some water here in a second. How are these guys doing? These are the other guys we just put in. Trying to stay in close. They're like, oh my gosh, we're not used to all this room. <laughs> stay in there, buddy. So we've had 20 in the first batch and then 42 in the second. So we're at 62 so far. We've got plenty more in there to go.
is this a lavender? I don't know. It I can't quite tell. It almost looks like it is. One of the eyes browns that was in with the lavenders? No. I think just a lot of yellow is coming through. Which that happens. When they grow up, it kind of comes out of them. That's just a lot of yellow. I hope you guys stay in there, bud. Here's the remainder of the mixed barnyard. How many did you get from the scotch? 30. 30 something. Mm -hmm. I'll have to go back and look at the video, I guess. It's kind of a plus of doing this. Whoa, Captain. Americana. Well, what would you say? Did we have a successful first hatch? I think so. I mean, there's still more pipping in there, too, so. Right, so we have a possibility of some more. I think there was like at least three or four that I seen, so hopefully we'll get a few more here and we'll start getting every everything else around and set it again. Get some more. This is chicken math. It's addicting. Chicken math is a very real thing. A lot of fun. Well they're all so different. There's no two that I mean, look at them. They're gorgeous. Look at them finding their food. They're so yeah. cute. Hungry guys. Look at that one's face. Look at it. <sighs> They're pretty cool. Remy, do you approve of the new chicks? We did a good job, didn't we? Look at all them pretty guys. Say hi, chicks. Remy approved. We're live. So how many did we end up hatching? Um, so we got 99 is what we totaled up. Okay. And then how many were in it? Um, so there's, there should have been close to 200. So we got about 50% hatch rate. And there's still some pipping in there, right? Yep, yep. Okay. So there's still a possibility it could go up. Um, which really isn't that bad. I mean, we still got 100 chicks, so that's awesome. Yeah. Especially considering it was our first time using it, not knowing what to really do with it. Right. And plus, this was our first time doing a dry hatch. So, as far as I'm concerned, it worked pretty good. I'll probably do it again because we don't have to worry about water for the first 18 days, which is great. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Yeah, I like it. I, I'm glad we put it out here, though. Yeah, it made kind of a mess. Um, 
just glad it's in the barn and not in the house. So. For sure. But, all right, all right, guys, that'll do it. We're, <laughs> we're super excited, and we're going to put some more eggs in, and we'll see you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe.